Timothy Chalamet wore a shirt. It almost brought a, a tear to my eye. He had on a shirt. So Melissa Rivers, thank you so much for joining us to talk all things Golden Globes 2024 red carpet. Um, let's start with your overall thoughts on how the carpet looked as a whole. Um, I thought it was good. I'm not sure it was great. There were, I felt like it was all over the place that there were so many trends that at heart it was a little hard to get my head around, like, which is the big standout? I mean, could we have seen more black velvet? We saw a ton of sheer. We saw red. A lot of red. A lot of red. But then suddenly you had pops of color, which I loved. Helen Mirren was just, I mean, don't, she walked in and it was over. Like, <laughs> and she knows how to work a dress. She was in Dolce & Gabbana. She was just amazing. We saw a lot of big jewelry, which I love, like big, important necklaces and earrings. Um, and I, I think, it. and oh my God, a lot of boobs. Super boobalicious. <laughs> Even people who shouldn't have been boobalicious had, I mean, you could not get away from people's boobs. Who were some of your, um, I don't know if I should say favorites, but most prominent in that regard? Oh, yes. Um, God, there, just there were boobs everywhere. Tyler, uh, Taylor Swift, who looked phenomenal, and I loved in this sea of black and all these muted colors, green. And the green dress, it was Gucci. Phenomenal. But I felt like, again, everybody was doing these little, that's a good look these little teeny tops or strapless tops that you wanted to walk and go like, Ugh, and pull them up. But she, you know, she had the little teeny cups, but I, the color was spectacular. The it dress really, was spectacular. It was I just would have liked the top to fit a little better. I also love, as you were saying, there was so much red. We obviously had Margot Robbie in like Barbie pink once again. And it was nice having that sort of apple green really standing out from the yeah. rest. I mean, the green to me was beautiful. And again, Helen Mirren in that purple and the coat being two-tone. And she knows how to work a dress. Mm -hmm. so regal like not just in the color obviously purple is the color of royalty but she just her like stature and the way she carries herself she works to dress absolutely I mean the the black velvet on Angela Bassett and I oh you love Angela I, I, I do because you know why life. it's also how she carries herself I believe she was also in Dolce and Gabbana mm -hmm. and I always feel like she shows up and is like, oh, children, you all look so nice. Now, this is how a movie star does this. And she so brought elevated. it again last night. And it's so much of it is how she carries herself and the attitude. She used was like, oh, you all look so nice. Now get out of the way. I'm a movie star. And yeah. Talk about Regal. Oh, and she works it. And she knows what works on her. Everything on her is tailored beautifully beyond and the big the long earrings and the perfect hair and makeup you know she just always brings it jennifer lawrence the elegant stood out greta lee mm. in that sort of yellowy colored um from Mueve. i thought the front was so elegant and the back with the coming in it was i thought she looked spectacular and it was really a night where Elegance, in my opinion, one, ever, no one looked like their hair came from the beach, all very simple makeup. It all, those women looked quiet luxury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Greta is such a perfect ambassador for Loewe too. It's a, oh. a, an example of a very good celebrity brand ambassador partnership. Yeah. And it was just, I, I was just like, oh God, that was just, you know, you look at some of the dresses and you go, would I want to wear that? Right. And like, that's one of the ones I looked at and went, oh my God, I would love to wear that. This wave of just elegance walked through and I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved that it was all very true 
throwback movie star. And we saw, I also loved Hunter Schaefer. I loved it when it was blowing and billowing. I wasn't sure if I actually even liked it when it was dragging. Her best accessory was, was the wind. The best, yeah. But but again, there was something sort of ethereal about it without being sheer. But were there any looks that fell short for you or that you just weren't loving for whatever reason? I was puzzled by Rosamund Pike. The headpiece really threw me. I know she had a skiing accident, but she's already healed. Um, I didn't love the dress. Maybe I would have liked it better if she wasn't in the chunky platforms. I'm not a fan of tea length mm. at, a, at a black tie event. Um, I just felt there, and there was too much going on. I felt like people who too went too over the top didn't work for me, but I was really, really confused by Rosamund Pike. We definitely had some off fit, um, and off fit not so much because it wasn't tailor right tailored correctly. Off fit because it didn't work on the woman's body. Like I am a ginormous. Emma Stone fan, mm -hmm. but I thought the top did her no favors. She's very flat chested and it almost accentuated that, mm -hmm. but the fabric, the hair, the makeup like was beautiful. But again, it wasn't tailoring. It was just, I don't think a lot of people made good decisions that would flatter their body types. Got like Julia Garner was amazing. Again, I also don't like dresses that make me nervous. <laughs> You know what I mean? Where I'm anxious for the person. And Julie Garner loved the dress, really made me feel like that tape is working overtime. Absolutely. I was really nervous. I mean, it was, I kept joking that it was more like sequined suspenders yes. than a line. <laughs> but I always feel like, don't make me so nervous. Yeah, she looked amazing. I would never have had the guts to try oh, that God. at the Globe. Yeah. But a lot, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of boobs, a lot of cleavage, a lot of strapless. And I just kept thinking, how much tape is even left in Hollywood right now? I had a moment of joy because I feel like someone was listening to me and, you know, I'm just here to do good. Um, <laughs> Timothy Chalamet wore a shirt. And he I did. have last year been complaining about him not wearing a shirt. And it almost brought a, a tear to my eye. He had on a shirt. There's two people who don't have to wear shirts. Yeah. Lenny Kravitz and Harry Styles. If Very you're true. not one of those two, put on a shirt. What did you think of Lenny's cutout uh, McQueen tuxedo jumpsuit? Lenny can do no wrong. Lenny can get away with anything because his personal style, the way he carries it, and he's Lenny Kravitz. He's just like the epitome of cool. Jared Leto, I'm really, it's his style is getting very repetitive. Mm. And wouldn't it be wonderful to see him show up elegant? Wouldn't that be fun? Without and the gloves, without the two-tone. Without the gloves, a, a shirt. A shirt and no gloves. That would be a huge change. He needs to take notes from Timmy, maybe. Meryl Streep. Miranda mm. Priestly come to life. That was it. She went as Miranda Priestly. And I loved it. I love and what's really interesting that it was, I don't want to use the mature, but it wasn't the super young actresses that owned the carpet. 